Summit Sport Social is a perfect example of an organization that encourages everyone to come out at least once a week, have a good time, meet people, and get to know someone that you didn't know before, and I love that. Behind Canal Park right now where there's a lot of construction going on, there was two sand volleyball courts. We kind of rehabbed those, put some money into it from the leagues that we had run, and uh, yeah, a small eight-team league kind of grew pretty quickly. Uh, a lot of that... You are watching SGTV, socially good television. This is our first summer at this location. So really our main objective was getting feet in the sand and kind of having a minimum viable uh, facility here, which was uh, brought to us through a generous grant from the Knight Foundation as well as the Ohio and Erie Canalway Coalition, which the towpath is literally right next to us. We have a gate that connects us to the bike and running path, which is awesome. Akron is a great place to do this because there are pretty low barriers to entry to try things. I think there's a statistic out there that we, per resident, we have something like two times or three times the amount of park space per person or public space. Um, and this is considered a public space, even though you know we do run leagues here as a private organization. This is a public space for people to come down and play anytime. Um, so I'm, a, I'm from Ak Akron, born and raised here, and I really felt that urge to get out of Akron for a while in my, in my 20s, um, but I stuck around and I think a big reason is the community here. You really do get to make a bigger impact when you decide to put yourself out there because like I said, those kind of lower barriers to entry or just taking a risk on something, there's a lot of different entrepreneurs, whether it's technology or arts and culture and all these things, everybody's pretty supportive of each other uh, in those different arenas. and. We just wanted to be a part of that conversation when it came to making a difference with uh, more people being active and involved, starting in downtown, but then you know, kind of branching out in different neighborhoods. With the emphasis on downtown, getting people to go out and either before or after they play with us, hitting up restaurants, hitting up bars and, and breweries that we, we partner with, um, really just creating minimal economic impact that really multiplies or amplifies by all the, the people that we can get involved that want to play and hang out. We've been doing this for about three years now and I have loved every minute of it. I can't imagine a session not playing volleyball. I love that I look across the court and there's people from nonprofits and businesses and individuals and it really brings everyone together and everybody has a really good time. They do a great job running the lakes, and these courts are amazing. Just the atmosphere of being next to the canal, being the, hearing the water, it's kind of the music. It brings out anyone. You know, you don't have to be the best volleyball player in the world. You don't have to be an A-level collegiate player. There's great people. This is a community atmosphere. You're going to meet a lot of really great people. We're all very friendly here, and that's why I love playing here. Thank you for watching SGTV, socially good television. Visit sociallygoodtv.com and remember to share this video.